Subtraction using the standard algorithm. What is an algorithm? An algorithm is like a shortcut strategy in math. Once you understand a math concept, you can use an algorithm to save time. We know we can use base 10 blocks to subtract. Let's try using base 10 blocks to subtract 244 minus 113. First, we'll make the big number. To make 244, I need four ones, four tens, and two hundreds. Now, we'll take away the smaller number. So I need to take away three ones, one ten, and a hundred. Whatever's left is my answer. I have 131 left. Now, we'll use the standard algorithm to subtract. Let's use the same subtraction problem, 244 minus 113. Except we'll want to rewrite it so that the numbers are lined up on top of each other. Notice how the ones are lined up, the tens are lined up, and the hundreds are lined up. Also, make sure the bigger number, the larger number, is on top. Now we'll subtract the digits, one place at a time, starting in the ones place. So we have four minus three, which is one. Now we'll subtract the tens place. Four tens minus one ten is three tens. And finally, the hundreds, two minus one is one. And here we see our answer, 131. Be careful when lining the numbers up. You have to keep the place values together. Take a look at this problem. This problem is not written correctly because the thousands place in the top number is lined up over the hundreds place in the bottom number. This will not work. We need to keep the places together. Now the ones are lined up, the tens are lined up, the hundreds are lined up, and the thousands are lined up. Now we can subtract each place one at a time. Nine minus five is four, one minus zero is one, 8 minus 2 is 6, and 6 minus nothing is 6. Let's try a trickier one. I already have my numbers lined up to subtract 415 minus 323. So let's subtract the 1s. 5 minus 3 is 2. Now let's subtract the 10s. 1 minus 2. Hmm. I have a problem. I can't take two away from one. I don't have enough to do that. So I have to regroup or borrow from the next place over. I'll show you how it works. We can take a group of 100 and break it into 10 tens. That's what 100 is. It's 10 tens bundled together. So I'll cross off the 400s. I'm taking one away, so now I only have three hundreds left, and I'll unbundle those that hundred into ten tens and add it to the other ten I have here in the tens place. We add those ten tens we got from the hundred to the tens place. We had one ten, and we just got ten more tens, so now we have eleven tens, and now we can subtract. Eleven minus two is nine. And three minus three is zero, but we don't even really need to write that. Our answer is just 92. We can use the subtraction algorithm to solve problems with large numbers. We just repeat the same steps over and over again. Let's take a look at 78,263 minus 44,617. Starting in the ones place, three minus seven. Well, we already have a problem because we can't take seven away from three. So let's borrow or regroup to make sure our number in the ones place is large enough to subtract. We're gonna take away a 10. We had six tens, we took one away, so now we're left with five tens. And we're gonna turn that 10 into 10 more ones. We had three ones, we just got 10 more of them. That gives us 13 ones, and now we can subtract. 13 minus seven is six. Let's subtract the tens next. Five minus one is four. Now the hundreds. Two minus six. Oop. Once again, I need to regroup. I'll take away a group of a thousand. I had 8,000 and now I only have seven. 
and I'll turn that thousand into 10 more hundreds. I had two hundreds, now I have 12 of them. 12 minus six is six. Let's subtract the thousands place. Seven minus four is three, and the 10 thousands place. Seven minus four is three. So our answer is 33,646. Let's review. To use the subtraction standard algorithm, you first have to line the numbers up on top of each other, keeping the place values together. Then, subtract each digit one at a time, always starting in the ones place. If the top digit is too small to subtract, take away one from the next place over and add 10 more to your digit and then subtract. This is called regrouping or sometimes it's called borrowing. This video was created by LaFontaine of Knowledge. Check the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.